just a quick one about these hinges a lot of these hinges just have two adjustments this one to move the catch in and out to push the door in and out and this one to move the door across so we'll have a play with this these ones on here are more expensive this one moves this in and out that way this one moves the door in and out that way to adjust that gap pushes the door that way and these ones have an extra one under here when you move that it moves that catch up and down so that you can move your whole door up and down but we'll play with these ones just for now Right, these are overlay hinges, which means they sit on the side of the cabinet like that, and the door would overlay the face, it would open like that. There's another type, inset, where the door would sit inset, which is similar to what I've done on the wardrobes. That's why I had to put that extra timber inside, because I'm using overlay hinges. Anyway. On the inside of your door, you need a 35mm hole, 3 or 4 mil in from the edge, 35 divided by 2, 17 and a half, plus 3 or 4, gives you about 21, so make a mark, 21, and wherever you want your hole to be. Use a bradle or a pointy sharp thing to make a hole. And I've got this bit, it lives in the van. I think it came with a jig or something. I use it very rarely, but it lives in there just as a, an emergency backup. Or use a fastener bit. This one is inch and three eighths which is what I'm going to use A little mark will help you get the point in the right place and this needs to go a little bit deeper a little bit deeper than the cutter you could put a depth stop or maybe a piece of tape or something on but it's awkward that's why I use the router find the hole This is 18 mil. Just enough. See, that's about four mil in. Put some screws in this and put it together. These bits. Set them spinning first. Helps them centre. If you if you just zoom straight in, they'll kick off to one side. So get it square. There's nothing really to work on here. You could put a square on here, but these these quite often aren't, aren't parallel. So get it square. Set your drill going. Then put it in. A 
couple of screws. Don't over tighten them. You need to set that distance, which is probably 35 mil again. Or 30 mil on these, you see. And like I say, they don't sit square, so you just need to pull them straight a little bit. See, 30 mil. So this is the inside of the cabinet. I'm going to stick the door on there. So we're going to come in 30 mil. Probably want to move it in a fraction just to give yourself a bit of clearance, but we can use the adjustment on the hinges. So we've got 30 mil there. Let's take this off. Get it the right way around. You could mark mark where the screws are going to go. Sometimes the easiest option this. Use a screw. Put a screw in. Smudge my mark there, but put your patch on. So it's not set square because there's only one of them but and this one seems to be wound quite a long way out so wind it in. So there's no jig, I think you can buy jigs and things to make this but put your hole 3 or 4mm in, set your mounting plate to whatever your hinge dictates and then use these knobs to adjust it. It's a bit tight on the frame there but if you set your plate maybe 28-27mm in, give yourself a bit of clearance. That's why you make a dummy run like this. These hinges, like I say, 110 degrees. So when the door opens, that's 90 degrees. And it goes just a little bit further, 100, 110. This one is 165, I think. Doesn't say. It's exactly the same fitting. The mounting plate might be different. But they're slightly different on a lot of them. Hole is the same, distance of the hole is the same. Even the mounting holes are the same on this one. Distance there is about 38 mil. Let's turn this over. So, 38 mil.
click on again. Knock your holes. Use your screws. the overlay again except for this will let the go door go all the way around sometimes you can use that if you want to clear something that's there these are old hinges that I've got but you see exactly the same mark the same mark just the, the mounting plate slightly different <coughs> 